welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Uh, today, uh, it's getting towards the end of summer, end of August, and we need to start marking queens that are new queens this year. So going into next year, we know that they're a one-year-old queen. So uh, I got me a new queen catcher marker gadget. So uh, I'm not like Dirt Rooster, and this is his queen catcher. I'm not brave enough to do that, but uh, maybe someday. Here's the old one I used, and uh, it's just a plunger. You catch the queen in here, you catch her like that, and you mark her right there. And uh, what's bad about this is, as it's gotten older, the foam has lost its elasticity, and it'll just do that. And that's not cool, because there goes your queen. So I bought this new one from Man Lake, and there are knockoffs that are yellow, I think, uh, that you can get out there. But uh, anyway, so it has this little sliding lever. So you, supposedly you can do all this with one hand. So you, you put it over the queen right here, and you slide it underneath her. Then she's captured, and your plunger is right here, and it slides in and out. And it's got some grooves that it rides in. So hopefully, and it can't come out. So you can't <laughs> have this thing like fly out and lose your queen. So it costs a little more, but you get what you pay for. So we're gonna give this a try. And uh, hive number eight is uh, one that had the original California queen daughter in there. And she has moved to hive number six, two to the left of it. So, uh, that's where we moved her artificial swarmer, and hive number eight there. It's got a honey super on it, but uh, I brought my bee mate stand. We'll set that honey super on there. See how, if there's any honey in it, which I doubt because we've been in dearth for a month. We didn't get any rain the whole month of July, and we finally have gotten uh, three decent rains here in the last couple weeks. Uh, we got like a tenth, an inch and a quarter, and this morning we got a half. So. Yeah, so we got a half inch of rain this morning. The sun's out. It's about 90 degrees and about 99% humidity. So I don't know how far I'm going to get through this. But uh, anyway, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to try this uh, new uh, queen catcher and marker gadget from Man Lake. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are at hive number eight. And I brought the bee make to set my uh, super on. And if I got to go in the deep bottom deep, I'll uh, set this box here on it but uh all it is is one buys and it folds out makes a nice little stand and it's the width that if you wanted to set a frame in it a frame will sit in this perfectly and it also is pretty sturdy and you can set your boxes on it so i'll put a link below uh, where i bought the plans from i think i paid the guy five bucks uh I don't remember who it is, and I don't get anything by you clicking that link at all. So check it out. You know, it's worth five bucks to get the plans. Uh, it's, you get a PDF, and it's pretty easy to build. It uh, has uh, wing nuts. So I think you just need a couple of, of one buys uh, to build this, and it all screws together nice and neat. Okay, let's uh, pop the lid, take a quick peek at this honey super, and see if there's anything at all going on in there, which I doubt. Because it's been so dry the month of July. You can tell it's been a while since I've been in here, because... That lid is stuck down, the inner cover. And not one hive beetle. That's good. So this is all drawn out comb that uh, was replaced back in here after it was harvested. It's a little bit of dark nectar right there. And it's empty. So this dark is what we get in the fall. There's not much there. Maybe with this rain we've got, they'll start uh, 
collecting a little bit more. So let's get this off of here. And it has a queen excluder. So I'm going to try and get that off with it all in one pick. Lots of propolis. There we go. Yeah, there's no weight to this at all. So I'm going to clean this uh, burr comb up on here. Not a lot, but it's just where the excluder was at. I'm probably going to regret smoking this this much. So that queen's going to be down in the bottom now. But the reason I'm smoking is to keep them bees out of my way so I don't chop them up with my hive tool here. There, that ought to do it. So that's what I scraped off. Sorry I didn't get a close-up of doing that. So we're looking at a nice smooth clean top now. I'm going to start on my right side. Man, there's a lot of propolis in here. Once you get the first one out, it goes a lot easier after that. And that is a solid honey frame. Looks like here's what I was pulling. I got a little nodule made there and it just raked across that. So this is not good to have this laying around out here this time of year. Uh, you could have robbing get started real quick. So that's a 100% honey frame there. Same thing here. I want to set this down for a second and clean this uh, thing off right here that was causing me all that problem. Just a knob they had stuck on the side there. That is hard enough to scrape off that honey. A couple more small ones I'm going to take care of. Solid honey. We may have us a nearly honey bound hive here. My goodness, look at all that. If I get too many bees in the air, all this honey around, I'm gonna have to close this thing back up. And another. I bet this deep box weighs close to 100 pounds. Ah, we've got some brood here, finally. Not on this side though. This is all, so this was brood and they backfilled it. So here's the first sign of brood we've got. It's underneath all these nurse bees here. I can't get the angle right. It's too heavy. There. If you can see it or not, but there's a larva underneath there. Got these little cross combs. I need to get them off of here. A lot of bees in this hive. So here we've got capped brood. Looking for our queen. Don't see her. So 
So this hive is normally one of my calmest hives and they're getting pretty defensive right now. So if it gets much more than what's in my face right now, uh, I'm going to close this up and I'm not even going to worry about marking that queen. So this is a nice laying frame here. But, uh, doesn't look like she's been on it in a while. Check the other side. Yeah, I'd be surprised to see her here because most of this side's capped. So I'm looking down in there at the next frame and it is mostly honey. But I do see a little bit maybe brood pattern on it. So I'm going to pull one more frame and if we don't find her, we're going to call it because they're getting too agitated. You also notice when I'm smoking now, I'm smoking where I've been, not where I'm going. Oh my gosh. They are upset. Oh, that dude is heavy. Yep, so it's going to be all honey here. She might be on the bottom of this on this side. But no, so... The smoking I did earlier, she's down in the bottom. And that's where she's gonna stay. So now we can smoke a little heavier, get them to go back down. But that's not gonna affect the bees that are up here in my face. I don't know if you can see this. Man, they're tearing me up. This is why you wear a bee suit, people. You never know when a hive is going to be aggressive or not. They may start out fine like this one did, and, and all of a sudden, they, uh, they started getting really aggressive. So that happens more in the late summer and fall. In the springtime when there's a nectar flow, you won't see anything like bees acting like this. So don't be fooled by people you see doing videos without any equipment on. You don't know what time of year they did that. You don't know if your bees are like their bees. So always wear your jacket. If I didn't have it on, I'd probably I couldn't stand here for sure, but uh, if I wasn't wearing it, I probably would have taken 30, 40 stings before I could have got away from it. And I haven't got stung yet, but it's likely I will with this many bees in the air around me. One's liable to get in my veil, under my suit, something. So let's get these to go down as much as we can and then we'll get that honey super on there. So I'm smoking them down so I don't smash any, as many, when I get that super on there with the queen excluder. Oh, I think I got one in my veil. Yep. There's one in there. I don't know how they do that. Okay, we got her buttoned up. We didn't find her queen. One thing we do know about this hive though, it's very strong. It's got plenty of honey stores for winter going into the winter. Uh, we need to mark the queen though at some point when we can. So uh, that's the end of the video. All these crazy bees on me. Give me a thumbs up and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Ouch! Crap. Stung in the leg. <laughs> ah! Ha <laughs> ha.
test, test. Okay, so another little pointer. When you get stung, like I got stung right here on the leg, and as soon as I did, there were like 10 bees on my pants trying to sting me in that same spot. So always be ready when they're like that with your smoker. Here's one inside my veil. So hit your body with the smoke where they're at and uh, cover up that uh, stinger because that stinger is emitting uh, alarm pheromone. So I gotta go. I gotta get this one out of my veil without it stinging me. <laughs> See ya. Thank you.